the Mark 1 armor, where it all began. What, you haven't enjoyed my little hobby of saving the world? Baking might have been a bit less stressful. Yeah, I don't need the carbs. Built by you in a cave with a box of scraps, it was bulletproof, equipped with a flamethrower and each arm, and was used to escape your capture via the jet boots. That's a home run if I've ever seen one. First base, maybe. You're getting donated. The Mark II, built as a prototype to explore flight potential. It was constructed from a light and strong chrome titanium steel alloy. Featuring no real weaponry, it was fitted with the repulsor technology and became the first armor to achieve sustained flight. Come on, definite home run. One last swing, sir. You're so good in doing This all culminated in the creation of the Mark III, the classic. Indeed, a rockin' arsenal. It was fitted to the brim with weaponry and repulsive technology. Coated with a gold titanium steel alloy, it helped to stop ice build up at high altitudes. Painted red, the armor proved itself to be quite durable. Also, it had a highly effective tank mishap. Are we agreed? Home run, sir, and that's all I wanted to hear. Shortly after, you created the Mark IV. Built as the successor and replacement of Mark III, it featured primarily only cosmetic changes, with a far more angular look. And apart from a scrap with your friend James Rhodes, it was retired without real incidents. He is bringing it back, right? Unlikely, sir. I can trigger the self-destruct sequence. Uh, before you do that, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. This should do the trick. The Mark V, sir. An emergency suit, and nicknamed the football, or the suitcase armor. It was the first suit to be portable. Always good to bring a change of clothes. The downside to the armor's portability, however, was weaker defenses to make room for the small form factor. Its reduced weaponry, however, still proved to be more than capable against enemies. Seemed to do the trick. Barely. Why do I even keep you around? The Mark VI. An all-purpose suit, and built on the same base model as the Mark IV. The suit differed only by integrating the newly improved triangular arc reactor. Made to be highly resistant, the suit seemed to be even durable enough to trade blows with the Asgardian gods. Uh, hold on. Jarvis? Lucky for us, next up is the first fully loaded armor deployment suit. The Mark 7, the first to feature a jetpack and built for heavy combat. It was instrumental in the creation of Earth's mightiest heroes, the Avengers. Uh, before I forget, what are we doing for lunch? I can order some shawamas, sir. I think an even dozen should do it. You know, for all the guys. Actually, I think we'll need a few more than that, sir. The party's here. About time. Diagnostics on all of them, sir. Nothing fancy. Let's just tick them off, one by one. My pleasure. The Mark 42, also known as... A beautiful golden baby boy. The prodigal son. It is an autonomous prehensile suit prototype, and is the culmination of all your tech thus far, sir. Although fully featured, the suit is not quite combat ready. You can't quite get more embarrassing than that. I stand corrected. It was only a prototype, sir. Ooh. What do we have here? The Mark 43. An autonomous prehensile propulsion suit and the perfected version of the Mark 42. The colors, however, were noticeably flipped. This armor, unlike its predecessor, was in fact combat ready. Uh, Jarvis? Gonna need something big here. 
Veronica is on her way, sir. The Mark 44, also known as the Hawkbuster, fully modular and powered by over six arc reactors, it was created for, well, exactly this type of situation. Uh, rock a bye baby with... Nope, he didn't like that. Sorry, Banner, but someone needs a timeout. Will they come in the corner? Used in the battle against Ultron on Sokovia, the Mark 45, featuring a sleeker new look, it was the first to incorporate a hexagonal shaped indent around the chest RT. Well, sounds like it's time to work for a living. Jarvis, we can't let him escape. It's only Steve and the team that's set. Then it looks like I'm gonna need a new team. The Mark 46, donned by you as you pursued Captain America after the Sokovia. I don't want to hear it. Are you sure you want to do this, sir? You know what this means. He's helping flee an escaped fugitive. It's his friend, sir. So is I. Your attention is needed around the Queen, sir. There seems to be trouble on the Staten Island ferry. What'd the kid do now? He had a run-in with the FBI and tore the ship in half. I can explain. Come on, kid. The Mark 47, identical to the Mark 46, except for the new silver color scheme. This armor was used in your dealings with your new protege. Yeah, kid. You're definitely grounded. This is Stark. Uh, those look like bad news. The intergalactic army sent here to retrieve the Infinity Stones. Tell me we have something ready. The Mark 48, or Hulkbuster Mark II, created by Dr. Banner and yourself in case of another Hulk incident. Tell me the big green guy isn't going to show up again. Not exactly. Yeah, uh, what's he doing in there? Dr. Banner donned the armor in the Battle of Wakanda to protect the Mind Stone from those sent to retrieve it. Who sent them? The Mad Titan, Thanos, beyond anything we've ever faced before. I think this should more than do the trick. Yes sir, the Mark 50, the first to be constructed from your newest technology, nanotech. Uh, buddy, I think you skipped a number there. Well, the archives seem to be incomplete, sir. Regardless, this puppy should be able to handle things. Let's finish this. Sir, your suit might be able to construct new structures from scratch, but I'm afraid it won't be enough. All that for a single drop of blood. If he snaps his finger, sir, he will wipe out half of all life across the universe. Duly noted, Jarvis. What else we got? Scanning all possibilities, sir. Scan faster. Jarvis? Hold on. You might have found a way back. Oh yeah, I did. The Quantum Suit. Built for you to be able to travel across universes and retrieve the Infinity Stones. All to construct the ultimate weapon. The Iron Gauntlet. Jarvis? He's found us, sir. The upgrade to your Mark 50, and constructed from your newest nanotech. It featured, amongst other weapons, an energy Captain shield. Hold on. Captain Sam, can you hear me? On your left. Sir. Jarvis, is 
Is that everyone? You're not exactly known for moderation. How are you, sir? So why stop now? Does that mean... I always did love a good party. Cap. Avengers! Assemble. And I 